Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64 for the last time. No, it's not the last time because there's still a few things that we are going to need to do after this finale. But this is, I guess, technically the final episode because we are going to feet, fight... Feet. <laughs> We're going to feet Bowser for the last time. <laughs> you have failed me for the last time. Although that doesn't really apply to Bowser now, does it? It's just... I guess a bit of a phrase that fits. But anyway. Hmm. That's odd. Did we not... Huh. I thought we had to stop and be like, Oh, the power of the stars compels you! The power of power star Jesus compels you! But I guess not. Anyway. No weird music, but whoa! So this is what lies up here. A giant picture of Bowser and... A pit to hell. Actually, not at all. Because as we go in, we will see that... Okay, no Bowser any here. It's Bowser in the sky. <laughs> Bowser in the sky. Wow, I already, I already died. <laughs> anyway. I will continue that song in a second. Pretty sure other countless other people have done it before too. Anyway, Bowser in the sky with diamonds. <laughs> uh, let's see. There is a red coin star we have to get here as well. Oh, I actually never knew you could blo uh, push those blocks aside. I guess I never tried. And the first one, the first red coin is right there, so. Let's get cracking. Now this is actually... I really like the first Bowser level, but this is probably my favorite just because... Well, there's a reason for us to have death on all sides, but also just the puzzles. Well, they're not really puzzles. Just the um, ways you have to get around are a lot more challenging and a lot more interesting than the ways you have to get around in all the other ones. Oh, it's a teensy piranha plant. Get here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Aw. Get back here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit you with a boot. Ah, it doesn't even work. Whatever. I mean, he only gives us a coin. Oh, there's not another guy. It's gonna be like. Kick flip me twist. Anyway, before we go on, we actually want to drop down here for life giving gold coins, but also because there is a little fellow hidden right there. Of course I fall off. Of course. Thought I could just turn around on the spot, but no, Mar Mario's gotta be like, I've got a very wide turning radius, I'm like a truck, if I was a car. Ah, uh, uh, ah, ha ha. Thought you were gonna trick me there now, didn't ya? <laughs> oh, this will be another one of those finales where nothing is cut out because... It's a finale. Finale is about having fun and enjoying all the failure that comes with me not having practiced a boss or a boss level. Because I, I I like I like that I don't practice boss fights. I don't know if you guys do. Like I, I I'd understand if you don't really enjoy. Whoa, me not practicing boss fights, but I I really do enjoy not practicing them. It makes them more fun. And in the case of like. Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, where I had Mr. Mr. Harry or Rock Paper Mario, Mar or Dr. Harry or Rock Paper Mario with me. Uh, it made for more funny for him. Anyway, haha, there we go. <laughs> Got you that time in your little mouth of death. Oh, yeah, there's a. Uh, I think these guys are call actually called Chuckyas. Not Chucksters, because that's Super Mario Sunshine, but Chuck... Chuckyas. And I actually did look uh, look in the book that I have from a child, because I actually found it today. Sorry, scratch my eye. I actually found it today because I've been cleaning my room over the past few weeks because I just have way too much stuff left over from all the years of high school, but also all the years of college. Um, but no, I, I was cleaning my room, and I actually found... All of the books that I had for, um, all the game guides that I had, and they weren't actually Prima guides, despite what I said. They were, uh, 
Nintendo Power Guides. I just assumed, you know, they're, they're guides for Nintendo games. They must be Prima. Because I've never actually heard of other people making guides for games. I guess, I mean, it makes sense that Nintendo Power would. Alright, let's do a backflip. I know I don't do them often enough. Oh. Watch, this is where I'm going to have the most failure. Alright. Oh. Hmm. I think I have to do a double jump off of that. Okay, maybe not. Maybe a regular jump would work. Maybe I'm just thinking too much before I actually try something. I've only got three red coins, too. We're like halfway through the level. Whatever. I also found my, um... Nintendo Power Guide for Banjo-Kazooie, which I forgot I had that at all. Like, I knew I had the Super Mario 64 one. I knew I had the Rogue Squadron one. I think I have... No, no, no. The Pokemon I, one I, I have is Prima. Oh, I forgot there were two Flame Jets there. Thank God I didn't hit them. Um... No, it's just amazing what I'm finding. Like, I found a bunch of sticker books, too. Like, I found, um... A Pokemon Generation 2 sticker book. And a freaking Oh, shoot. Alright, I think I... Yeah, I can, I can sacrifice Mario. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, good enough for me. Um... But I forgot I had the Banjo and Kazooie one. I gotta go through and look at what it says about the eggs and the coins and stuff like that. Or, the eggs and the ice key and stuff like that, because I know it mentions them. I don't know, it's just interesting to find all these old things. I mean, that's one of the reasons I love Let's Playing, too, because, I mean, same thing. It lets you relive all these old memories, find these old things. Okay, we've got five coins, just had to check quick. But... What was I even talking about? Oh yeah, I was talking about the Chuckyas. Yeah, they actually said in the guide that, oh, if you th these guys will throw you if you get too close to them, but if you're able to throw them, they'll give you a load of coins. Which is not accurate at all. Accurate at all. Accurate at all. <laughs> um, because they only give you five. Which, I mean, if you're a kid, I guess that's a ton of coins, but... I'm not a kid anymore, damn it. Ooh, nice. This one I do remember, because it's just really weird that it has... It, it was always weird to me that there was just a random pole standing in the middle of nowhere with no support from it anywhere. Alright, this is where it gets hard, because now... Yeah, we miss. We go all the way back to the bottom. Unfortunately, I think there's a life heart up there once we get to the bomb bombs and stuff, but uh, I, I've only ever actually practiced the first half of the level. Well, mostly because I was trying to find, like, little shortcuts and stuff, but you guys know I love to do that in this game. I mean, that's something I did as a kid, try to find as many shortcuts as I could to make it easier for me. It's not like it's... It's still a Let's Play, because I'm not trying to make it... I'm not trying to make it um, just ex an exploit thing. I'm trying to play it the way I would have as a kid. And as a kid, I would have tried to find any way I could in order to, well, break the game, I guess. Um, I still do that, like... Uh, one of my friends is actually majoring in game design, and he let me pl uh, play through a little test game that he had to do for his final project. And instead of actually playing it, what did I do? I tried to break it. <laughs> I mean, I, he probably expected that from me, because that's one of the things we used to do, like back when I was a first-person shooter lad, you know, like... Halo, Call of Duty, all that stuff. Yeah, 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 I played those when I was younger. Um, we're missing one. Wait a second, we're missing a star. Alright, we're missing a coin. Oh yes, that's right. It is not missing at all. This is actually one of the more interestingly hid red coins. 
I re if I remember correctly. Yep, right down here. And again, an easy star to get, because it's just right behind the port pipe. So, whoa, come on, come on, come on. No, I, I love doing that with him, like going through Halo maps and just trying to find the ways we can break it. But anyway, that is the last power star. Wow! Another power star! Mario gains courage from the power of the castle. You want to save? You bet! Come on, this is like 100% now. Well, except for the fight with Bowser. We'll take care of right now! <laughs> oh man. I forgot how good the music was for this. This is like act this is like legitimate boss fight music, which you don't expect from a Bowser fight. Mario? You again? Well that's just fine. I've been looking for someone to fry with my fire breath. Your star power is useless against me. Your friends are all trapped within the walls. And you'll never see the princess again. Whoa ha ha ha. Oh, that's another thing I love about it. Like, they're like, the King Ko Koopa him uh, from the Nintendo Power Guide. They're like, you get to fight the King Koopa himself, the Master of Mayhem, the boss of Wahaha. <laughs> now, interesting thing is he actually spits a bunch of fire out this time. Fire and ice. And these will actually, some of them will turn into coins. I'm trying to remember if he moves fast enough. Yeah, we're never we're never gonna get to his tail this way, are we? Oh wait, yeah we do. Okay. So this time is a bit different. This time we actually have to Yes! I'm surprised I made that. I'm really bad at it usually. This time, we actually have to throw throw Gay Bowser into three of those bombs. No, come on, I was so close. There we go. I find the Mario cameras the best way to do this because you actually need to line up with it. Nope. Okay, then get you closer though. What I like though is actually I'm gonna show that off instead of trying to throw him in a into a bomb right now. If you throw Bowser off, yes, this is a little different. What he does here. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah, I forgot he had the shockwaves. But he will actually knock away a piece if you miss the bombs when you throw him. So this is actually a really hard boss fight. I it took me a long time to actually figure out how to do... How to actually... Well, not figure out, but get lucky enough to beat him in this fight. I mean, come on, the music is just so good in this, too. Of course, I keep running into flames, so that doesn't help. Pretty sure he can keep giving you coins, though, so... Oh, come on, I, I missed that totally. Whoa. You know what I just noticed? We've never we've not seen him warp in this game, have we? Yes, there's one more thing that... Uh, I almost said Wario. Bowser can do while you're fighting him, and he can actually warp from place to place if you're far enough away. Uh, maybe he'll show it to us. Oh, that's we really weird. I never tried changing the camera like that before. Oh, I want health before I fight you again. <laughs> My full power. Ah, there we go. Now, let's see. There's a bomb. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yes! Okay. Now, for this part, get into the center. Get into the center, because he'll do this thrashing. A middle thrashing mad dance. And now, we are on... Wow. Oh, as you can see, we are on a star platform. And this is where it really gets hard. Because we have to actually throw him into space. Ow. In order to throw him into a bomb. And we only have a couple left. We only we only have two, three left. So we gotta... Ugh. And every time he jumps on, same thing. We'll have the shockwaves that we gotta contend with. It's a contender. Come on. 
I hear one of these bombs wants a date with Bowser's face. <laughs> oh, come on. It's a Mario game. We can't not have a Bowser's face joke. Even if it is Rock Mate Paper Mario's thing. But it's so good! Like, oh my god, that was the best part of that live stream. Like, I loved all of that live stream, but just that... that... Oh, Super Mario Kart Race was just amazing! Oh shoot, we're dead, we're dead. Oh shoot, I don't think he spits fire anymore at this stage. <gasps> he does! Oh shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. I'm gonna dodge the blue fire though. Oh, please give us coins. Oh, thank god. One coin. That's gonna do us a hell of a lot of health. If we get hit by any of his attacks, we're still dead. Because they all do like three or more damage. Oh, shoot. Oh, god, 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 oh, god, 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 god. Oh, coin, 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 coin. Oh, god. That was close. I, I am not going to face you, Bowser, until I have at least enough health to survive bumping into you. Oh, shoot! <laughs> you know what? We're ending this now. Enough shenanigans. Let's get this done. Oh, no! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm on the edge right now. Literally... And emotionally. Oh. Thing is, it's just absolute luck right now. Like, I don't know a way to, like... Oh, I don't know a way to accurately throw him at this point. Oh, well. Surprise? I'm surprised we got that far with our first fight with Bowser. Our first contention with Bowser. <laughs> Boss of <laughs> All right, let's just take care of you now. Oh, come on, we had your tail. I don't care if you, we didn't have your tail. We had your tail. Come on, spit us, spit some fire, spit some fire. Maybe it's only in the second world that he can teleport. Because I know in that one he would have teleported by now. Because he hates when you do the runaround thing. Whoops. That was way out of the way. <laughs> oh, come on. Two shockwaves in a row? That's not really fair now, is it? Yeah, there we go. That's fair. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, we're getting you closer, we're getting you closer. We might as well take the easy way out for these first couple of bombs, you know? You know? You know? Why, why go through the hardship of trying to throw him from the middle? That's, that's just asking for trouble, you know? Oh, shoot! Son of a bitch! Come on, blow some, blow some, blow some chunks at us. There we go. That's that's what I'm talking about. Well, that's not what I'm talking about, because now we lost another piece. Oh, God. We're never going to do as well as we... Okay, maybe he only knocks off one piece for this stage. Ah, oh, I was going after the coin I shouldn't have. Ah, shoot. Now we got fire to deal with again. I'm burning up here, man. This is getting so so I'm getting so anxious. I can't I can't stand it. That's not. Ah. Uh, come on. Because the only easy way to, like, grab his tail is when he's going to do the firebombing. The firebombing. Flame breath. There we go. I'm trying to think of a good thing to call it. 
This also reminds me of uh, Master Maestro Hand from Banjo and Kazooie, that little level thing you have to do. Because, you know, same type of creepy music. Sounds like Hall of the Mountain King or whatever. Alright, have your little tantrum, Mr. Bowser. Don't worry, in a little while, in a, in a few, in a couple, in a g game or so, you're gonna get yourself a nice little sauna. Ah! Totally didn't. S ah, come on! I didn't mean to run into him. Okay, am I really gonna do this? There we go. I think if you don't actually spin him right round, right round, too, he actually gets up after a while. Ah, see, I need to get lift on him. That's the problem. I'm not good at that. I'm used to him sliding into the bombs. Because that's how he'll, the easiest way to do it in the first two parts. Okay, shoot, 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 shoot. We're not gonna... I don't want to die by blue fire. Plus, there might be... Oh, yes, coins, coins, coins. Oh, man. Oh, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm not gonna get that, but... Come on, I've got, I've got half-life now. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, speaking of half-life, I should actually tell you guys what my next LP is. And if you guessed half-life, you'd be right. <laughs> oh. Ah, half a second too late. No, I, I really, really love half-life. The entire series. Every single game. <laughs> Even like Codename Gordon, this the weird 2D platformer one that they put out between Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 2 Episode 1. Um, and I want to do every single one of them, including all of the original Half-Life spin-off games. Like, uh, there was there was a re-release of the game for the P the PS2, and they actually put out a co-op Half-Life game. Oh, shoot. They actually put out a co-op Half-Life game called Half-Life Decay, and I have a copy of that. So I am totally gonna do that. But first, I need to get through Half-Life. Half-Life Opposing Force, and Half-Life Blue Shift, because I'm gonna be doing them in order. Oh, man, but I, I don't know why I didn't think of this when I started LPing, because that's like... That is... Those are my favorite games. Like, Half-Life... I would consider my favorite game just because I grew up with that when I was like when they when they first came out with it on Steam I grew up with that and like a few months ago when Amanda did her stream Splitable Infinitive I was I was helping her along with that after the stream had ended and it was so much fun no you've really beaten me this time Mario I can't stand losing to you my troops worthless They've turned over all the power stars. What? There are 120 in all? Amazing. There were some in the castle that I missed. Now, I see peace returning to the world. Ooh, I really hate that. I can't watch. I'm out of here. Just you wait and... <laughs> Just you wait until next time. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Until then, keep that control stick smoking. <laughs> oh, I had to. Oh man, and we get a grand star. Come on, that is a grand star. If you've ever if if you've ever had a grand star, that is a grand star to call him. Big daddy of all of them. Oh, it's off the ground. <laughs> I was like, I'm walking right through it. I'm walking on starshine. Oh man. And the wing cap. Hell yeah! I, w I wish it did change the triple jump into that after this. That would be so amazing. Oh, man. 120 stars, guys. We got them. And the Bowser's Power Star, we got it. And a wing cap that came out of nowhere, we got that too. <laughs> what else you want? Oh man, now what's gonna happen? Where could the princess be? Why?
Why, she was right under our noses the entire time. <laughs> That's it, guys. We, we've rescued the princess. Get ready for the most let down of an ending in video game history. I think, at least. Even more of a let down than the original Mario games. <laughs> ready? Ready? I'm the only person in this voice in this game with a voice. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. We have to do something special for you. Oh yeah. We're going to we're going to get a treat now. Okay. Kiss. We're we're expecting that. Come on. All the Mario games we only get a kiss. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Listen, everybody. Let's bake a delicious cake. For Mario. <laughs> <laughs> we get a cake. As advertised in the beginning, we get a cake. Mario. And a kiss, but I mean, I mean, come on, it's a Mario game. We always get a kiss, pretty much. But our ultimate reward is exactly what was advertised in the beginning. We just get a cake. No land, no money, no... More enticing rewards. Just a cake. I mean, cake's pretty good, don't get me wrong, but... I could go for li something a little more... savory, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, anyway, guys, that has been... Let's... Oh, yes! There are a few things after, after this episode that we have to do, so even though this is episode 42... There will prob... There will be an episode 43, and there might be an episode 44, depending. Um, depending on how much stuff I need to show after this. Probably only in episode 43, though. But anyway, guys, this has been really fun. I actually did not expect this LP to last as long as it did. I'm glad that I had as much failure as I did, so it did last this long. And, like I said, my next LP will actually be Half-Life. Um, I will be playing Half-Life Source on the PC. Uh, there are three versions that are out there. There's the original Half-Life on the PC, there's Half-Life Source on the PC, and then there's an updated version of Half-Life using the Source engine for the PS2. So, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to be talking talk all about that in, in that LP, so... But this has been really fun, I mean, ever everybody does this LP, I know, but I like what Rock Paper Mario said um, when Kickback to Toaster was actually talking about doing this LP. Um, he, he said he'd probably watch them both, even if we were both doing them at the same time, because everybody does this game differently. And that's completely true. I mean, Josh Jepsen is doing his LP of it at the same time, and... I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like it. Because it doesn't sound like he's having as much fun as I've had during this LP. And that's really what I went into this to do. I wanted to have fun. I sat down one day and I was like, what do I need? I need to let's play something. What do I have fun playing? What haven't I played in a while? Mario 64. That's always fun, and I can't think of a, I can't think of anything I'd ha have much more fun with right now. Like I really wanted to play this because I wanted to have fun. That was it. I didn't want to prove anything. I didn't want to. I didn't have any other motive in doing this. Oh, what's that up on the left of the castle? But anyway, guys, there we go. We get the cake in the end. Thank you so much for playing my game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my LP. Alright, so, um... Thank you everyone who watched this. Thank you everyone who commented and liked. Thank you everyone who has just made this a really fun ride. I love every single one of you. And I look forward to seeing you again in the future with any of my next selfies. Take it easy.